How's it going out there, everybody? Who's here on the Cena? Because I have a new special skill I didn't know about. I have lost a GoPro. And we're on one of the few remaining brick roads in Jackson. Down by the Goodwill. It's near downtown. Thought I'd take you and let you see this. Uh, I don't know how many of you have the old brick roads around you still, but I want to say this is the last one we have in Jackson County. makes it kind of interesting since you don't see them much anymore but I want to point out the fact that this road from what the 40s probably is still in better shape than most of the roads that are made out of pavement that were done over a couple years ago it says something doesn't it of course it's quite expensive probably laying right brick but it's a cool road and they keep pretty good care of it I mean they call it rough but for being brick, it's not too bad. It's more or less because it's settled. And uh, makes it lumpy because the ground has moved. Heavy vehicles being on it. Uh, it's presently the 30th of April, last day of April, 2023. I finally went back to the gym today. Went swimming. I have been cutting back my calories and what I eat. Mr. Chubbs is trying to lose weight. And uh, so far I've lost about four to five pounds. Not huge, but it is a start. And I just got to get myself back to the gym and keep going. We're going to turn around down here probably because they're doing construction on the bridge and stuff. But I wanted to come down and take a look at it because I saw it on the way in. been uh, raining on and off today. So not a gorgeous day out, but not a bad day. Just some sun, which is nice. I applied for a job there once at Mackey's Body Shop. I got the job, but they just weren't paying enough for it to be uh, worth a while for me. Wow, the old toy house. When I was growing up, the toy house was right here. It's on the side there, and this is where you came for models and model trains and different toys and such. A kid loved model cars and race cars, uh, like remote control cars. It's sad that it finally closed. I believe the family just didn't have interest in keeping it open any longer. The kids didn't want it, I don't think. Something like that. I could be completely off. A lot of good memories here. They weren't a cheap place to shop. But they were fun because they had two rooms of toys. And I see the toy house sign is still on the um, side of the building. Then you got over here, which are, a lot of trucks have hit that bridge. Sheep led by lions. Oh, good lord. Uh, let's start redoing some road work and stuff in there. So. Go down here. I think the toy house is still listed on the building for some reason. Yes. Community room entrance. So is the toy house? It's not open anymore, right? I think it's just still on the building, the old sign. Cool. Well, let us be leaving for home. Sunday, I've been working a lot of Saturdays lately at the shop. I to make a little extra money. I bought a whole new riding gear setup. It's similar to what my Kaylee 7 wears, um, same brand, oh. but uh, a lot of, I guess you call it artwork, graffiti, whatever, it's cool looking though. A um, little different uh, coloring scheme than what my Kaylee 7 wears, but it is made by Climb. I wanted something for long road trips, so I sunk some cash into the gear. Still wearing a shoey helmet, but I have the climb pants and the climb coat. If I get a chance, I will stop and do a video uh, wearing these items and show you what we have. Some of you will say ugly suit for an ugly bike, made it full transition, and uh, if that's the way you feel, fuck off. We don't need you here. We're all about good times and clean fun. So, well, clean fun with some cussing. <laughs> We're not about the uh, negativity towards what others wear, what others want to ride. 
what others wish to partake in, motorcycle-wise, car-wise. That's their business, not yours. Have your opinions, but if they're hurtful, keep your opinions to yourself, if you would. I thank you in advance. I'm here today on my Plastic Fantastic, number two, because Mike has number one. And, uh, just out and about. Ooh. Try to get back out of downtown Jackson and on our way back to the house. Where we uh, will probably fall asleep in a chair and not get anything done the rest of the day because I'll be tired from exercising I'm not used to doing. I did get a lot of cool bags from the Goodwill, though. Uh, I'm not usually a big Goodwill shopping person. I mean, I like the Goodwill, just don't usually make it out there much anymore. But I got, like, uh, five different style bags for 30 bucks plus a book. I want to read about 19... Uh, uh, 1940s when they dropped the bombs. Thought that'd be cool. I got my first cell phone over there. It wasn't called Boost Mobile, though. What was it called? Oh, God. Altel, I think. Or Cellular One that went to Altel. I don't know. They keep, they kept changing. It wasn't Altel originally. Oh, the hospital's right over here to the left, by the way. I believe on our trips this year, my K7 and myself will be taking, hopefully. We haven't made any dates up yet. He did a video talking about it and I did a reaction. But um, I don't think I would expect to see too much footage GoPro-wise. Unless I can find my GoPro. <laughs> I don't know what I did with it. I went to get it today before I left. And, you know, I couldn't find the dang thing. So. But I had the scene in my pocket. So. I think the scene really is good enough for a trip video. It's less editing. You just throw it up there. I have my cell phone and my new uh, flow stabilizer thing from Insta360 I'm going to use. And I might just take the Insta360 camera for uh, some of those crazy shots and just use that camera on my helmet as well. I got to try the mic setup, see how that works. I haven't got a chance to do that yet. I should have done that today, actually. But I was already running late. I took it out and looked for the GoPro. The gym closed at 3. So, it is what it is. <sighs> feels good to be back on the bike. It also feels good to know I'm in gear that I don't have to worry about the weather. With the exception of the gloves, they can get wet, but, you know, it's got a few things. But everything else, boots, pants, coat, Gore-Tex. So I should be pretty water resistant on most of my trips now where I don't have to stop and put on rain gear anymore, which means I don't have to carry as much crap on the bike, which is really nice. Very happy about that. This used to be Glick's. This used to be Louis Glick Highway. That was Louis Glick's uh, metal shop, uh, you know, metal scrapyard. Now it's called Omni Hewing. And they renamed the road to Cooper, and then they renamed it to something else. And if anybody lived here, it's Cooper now. Anybody who grew up here, especially through the 70s and 80s, they knew it as Louis Glick Highway. So, and they knew that as Glicks. You can tell the people have been around here a long time. It's still referred to as Glicks by those people, including myself. I don't go, I'm going to Omni Shores. I, I say I'm going to Glicks. This is where you took your scrap metal at when I grew up. I was watching a Family Guy episode. Speaking of things from the childhood, just, um, last night actually and uh, it was funny because it came in conjunction with a video that I saw a day a couple days before it was about a blockbuster <laughs> you know most of you uh, many of you young people out there I can't believe I use that term now young people because I'm getting older not old that old but in my 40s but I remember growing up when you went to get a movie you didn't go online. You didn't. You didn't rent it through the thing. You didn't go to a red box. I mean, I thought the red box was like, holy crap, that's amazing. When that came out, when I was driving truck back in the early two thousands, or uh, late uh, two thousand eight, two thousand nine area. Anyways, but Blockbuster, uh, Family Video. Um, we had a movie place, Showtime Video. We had Freddy's Flicks in Brooklyn. 
you used to go down, you know, and you pick out your movie, and you wanted to, so you got down there, and if somebody else rented it, well, you weren't watching that movie. And I saw a Family Guy episode on that where they went like two, three thousand miles to get to the last, bus, bus, bla, last blockbuster that exists in Oregon, which I'm not even sure if that's really true. Could be. And uh, it was kind of cool to watch it and then see. How's it going, everybody? Sorry, my camera cut out. I am uh, presently a little water at a bridge. The bike is right there behind me. And I'm using my new uh, Insta360 Flow, which has tracking ability, which is locked on my face. So no matter where I go, as long as I don't move too fast, it will stay with me. Pretty cool, huh? So that's how I was mentioning, or so rudely disconnected, Blockbuster. And I remember going there as a kid or different video stores and such. My father actually worked at a uh, TV VCR repair shop. He was a repair technician. And uh, they carried movies. In, so that's where I got my first instinct of movies. Actually, video disc. Uh, the big black disc, not the CDs, the big black disc. And uh, then they went to VC VHS and uh, other items. But that's where I first started running videos or looking at videos down there. And then uh, as time moved on, of course, Family Video opened up and those other video stores, Showtime Video. I spent a lot of time there as a kid when I had my off time when I wasn't working. Um, looking for videos to rent, to watch, DVDs, VHS, video cassettes. And it was a whole new world and a, a totally different world now. Kids will never know what that's like. Now you just get on there everything at your fingertips, which I love, by the way. I think it's a great system just being able to get everything you want at a touch of a button, but, you know, there is something to be said for the old times, where it took a little more time to enjoy life, you had to actually work for it, so I miss those times a little bit, but that's all there is to that, not much more, I'm trying not the wireless mic on the camera, this thing has a nice bend in it, so it's working out pretty good, and uh, I'm going to get on the bike, Finish out this little ride, go home, get this video edited together, and uh, just enjoy my Sunday. And I hope all of you out there do the same. So, until next time, thanks for coming along. Thanks for listening. This is the lake. my outfit. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can switch this. And this, whoa, is my new climb outfit. I hope that don't look too weird on the video. There it is. Hey, there I am. A little different coloring than Mike's. This is a little more dark gray on it, but I didn't want anything hot for the summer, so I went with this. Should be good. All right.